Ada, I'm here. What's good? Someone has left a threatening message on your terminal, Captain. Uh, okay, that's not good. Oh man. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? So So there's no threatening message for me to see? Mm -hmm. Talk to you later. Hold on, where can I find this threatening message? Is it in my terminal? Because I want to see what type of bullshit. I shut off the visual feed from my ocular inputs in the captain's quarters. So you're free to disrobe whenever you'd like. Disrobe? Hold on, hold on. First of all, let me see this. You have one new message. Okay, I gotta see this. Uh, let me see. Uh, what a handsome vessel you have, little weasel. Be unreliable. Register to one. Alex Hawthorne. But that's not you, is it? You stole it from him, just as you intend to steal Gorgon from me. Oh my gosh, she sounds like my brother's baby mama perhaps i should steal something dear from you in exchange your ship your crew your life fair is fair after all you know what let me hack this where is it uh transmission tower alpha transmission authorization level management executive okay well, 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 they thought a little threatening message can scare me off? <laughs> As if. Danger? What did I just walk into? Oh, stay out? Okay. I'm just trying to find a scientist. For some reason, I'm not expecting a warm welcome here. Yeah, me either, but... Should I sneak or should I just? Hey you. Over here. Chat. I was trying to sneak, but okay. What's good? Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's Riz. Oh, fuck it, damn it! Every time. So, uh, hey, you trespass, and mm -hmm. I'm armed. Wow. Maybe take a second look at your life choices, pal. So. I'm looking for someone. Name of Marion Blakesley. Yeah, I know that lady. I know she's looking for, uh, solitude. She hired us to make sure no one comes sniffing around. Guess that's bad news for your plan there. And who's us exactly? Yeah, we're the gardeners. What? We order back here on these dangerous streets. The gardeners? Always. You know what I mean. Anyway, Blakesley's given us standing orders to strongly discourage anyone who tries to come in. I like to, uh, extrapolate from there. So are you gonna, like, use a hose on me, Gardner? Come on. Does Julie know you're down here? We ain't subversives. We're gainfully employed. This is a private contract. Miss June Lee can't get too mad if we rough up some trespassers. Especially if I was nice enough to warn him first. Come on. Surely we can come to terms. This deal with Blakesley is pretty sweet. We get paid and we get fresh greens every week. My gums never look healthier. Listen. Still, she won't be too happy if you cost her thousands in life insurance payouts. Mm hmm So, I hope all this new found wealth could help ease her grief over the loss of a loved one. Shit. Insurance, you said? Mm-hmm. Fine, I guess. Look, we won't give you trouble, but I can't say the same about Blakesley. She's got some crazy setup in there, so if you get shot, don't come complaining to me. Thank you, that's all... That's all I need. Captain. Thank you, Vicar. I appreciate the compliment. 
just like I don't know what to do with myself. Wow, that that sounds like me when I stare stare to the ceiling when I wake up to go to work. All right. Ooh, what's this? Here is your weekly shipment. Please note the additional blah 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 blah. Cool. This is why if you're going to play a game So, in terms of playing a game like The Outer Worlds, please, I highly recommend you increase your charisma levels because stuff like that is so fun to use. The fact that I was able to just walk and talk my way through this area alone is so funny to me. Oh, damn, I can't even talk my way to open up this door. I guess I'll go the other way. Damn, do I have to shoot them? Can I just sneak? Get him, Sam! Get him! Wow, he squirted that machine to death. Amazing. Spectacular. So, what's in here? Nothing for me to take? Nothing for me to unlock? Okay, whatever. Damn, how- oh, okay. To the basement we go, because you know what? Everything happens in the basement. That's the rule of thumb. Woo! Your life was merely an illusion anyway. I mean... And he got squirted to death. Oh shit. Wow, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Damn, Sam is really squirting everyone to death. He, wow, that's amazing. Okay, we should be near the doctor's office. There's something going on inside there. Yeah, Vicar, we know. That's why we're here. And holy cow, I just suddenly have a chill. Chill up my spine. Hey, doctor. Um, I mean no harm. I come in peace. Wow. What's your profanity? Okay. Marion Blakesley, what can I do for you, Miss Home Invasion? Aw, she's nice enough to call me Miss Home Invasion. That's so cute. I'm investigating the Adrena Time Project. Word is you were a part of it. Oh, sure. A real gathering of bright minds. Gorgon? I holed up in a forgotten cargo bay of a rotting colony ship just so I could never hear that name again. But here you are. And here I am. I tracked down Clarence Mosley. That got me onto your tail. That bastard. Is he still only mostly worthless? Or has he achieved mathematical perfection in that regard? Ooh, that's a burn. Hey, he figured out where you were hiding. His predictive data. If I were on Byzantium, I'd have strangled him. Clarence mm. lacks the attention span for this sort of thing. Someone wants to dig up the past, and you're the shovel, right? Well, Helmia Ambrose hired me to find something on that asteroid. Ambrose. Yep. Well, I'll assume you're caught up then. That or hopelessly confused. Corporate demanded a product they could throw onto shelves. That put the squeeze on low at Chem to develop formulas. Samples. But how do you know if the product works? You run tests, see what happens. That's where human inquiry and auditing came in. I ran HIA and HIA ran the tests again and again and again. And what happens is a whole lot of wasted time and even more bodies. What was your part in all this? Testing supervisor. I designed the initial testing regimens. Managed the staff, made sense of the test results. Tried to anyway. People are complicated, and I don't just mean the test subjects. Try and avoid working with people if you can. It always gets messy. Trust me, that is my philosophy. That is why I'm at a job where I don't even work with a lot of customers. So, 
hiding away in a secret lab by yourself for five years isn't messy. I'd have tidied up a little if I knew you were going to break in. Mm, damn. So why take the job in the first place? I was top of my field, behavioral sciences. Offered a spot on the project of a lifetime. It was practically my duty. Of course, on a corporate level, the project was an embarrassment. Wasted resources, lowered profits. Numbers never came out right. I could have pumped gallons of those chemicals into every living soul in this colony. Wouldn't have changed that. What we got was marauders. So Spacer's Choice knew about these effects from the beginning? Yeah, good luck making that one stick. It's in the fine print, you know. Whatever was in those chemicals, it didn't matter what test we ran. We kept getting the same results. The proto-adrena time solution was both monstrously addictive and had catastrophic effects on the psyche and intellect. A real boon to the colony. So, what were you? Well, you know what? I just need to get into that facility, lady. Sure. I don't mean to stop you. Indulge a scientist. What do you want out of this investigation of yours? Trying to liven up your memoir? Well, the thing is, uh, what should I choose? Hmm. I'm just trying to spice up chapter three. Huh. Haven't had any new jokes to laugh at in a while. Ask your priest friend. What do you get out of headbutting murderous auto mechanicals for your captain here? My reasons are my own. Suffice it to say that not all rewards are monetary. Fair enough. That's all I've got. Here. I still have this pass. Don't much feel like hanging on to it anymore. Made my exit the moment the project started falling apart. Had to steal some credentials. This should get you into the volunteer induction entrance. Wow, that's crazy. You hacked into the Spacer's Choice database. Please. I just messaged people with fake demands for their passwords. That's when they didn't just leave codes written down on pieces of paper. If I couldn't talk my way out past a simple facility lockdown, I'd be working for Rizzo's. Burn. That'll get you inside. What you do from there, that's up to you. Any advice? You must have known the facility pretty well. Come on, I've left it behind me. You know, I bet folks on the Groundbreaker would just love to meet Marianne Blakesley, famed florist. You wouldn't. Uh, you're the behavior expert, you tell me. Damn it. Mm. Fine. Fine, here, I remember one of my access codes. Just punch in the keypad equivalent for replication. Should get you into the offices. Maybe get you to my terminal a little sooner. Thank you. Just that persistence of yours out on Gorgon. Mm, I'll leave you be. Yeah, yeah. I'll make sure the auto mechanicals don't bother you on the way out. Thank you. An unknown vessel is approaching our ship. Oh no. Their intentions are currently indeterminate. Of Once course. Their intentions, I will play one of two audio signals. A cheerful fanfare if they are friendly, alarms if they are hostile. Thank their you, Ada. Are no longer unknown. Uh, status report, Ada. An unknown vessel has deployed a boarding mechanism. They will attach themselves to our airlock and attempt boarding shortly. That sound indicates that a boarding mechanism has successfully attached to our airlock. Captain, I am pleased to inform you that we are currently in the process of being boarded. You're not supposed to be pleased to tell me we're being boarded, Ada. I have been programmed to simulate joy and excitement at the opportunity to test my limited defensive capabilities. Captain Hawthorne installed a lethal shock trap on our airlock in the event of an invasion. I am prepared to deploy this trap at a moment's notice. So, who are these people and what do they want? The invading ship appears to be a decommissioned storage vessel. The crew are either pirates or freelancers. My opinion of their competence is low. How do they find us? The ship is using a tracking device too sophisticated for their primitive astrogator. I conclude they are receiving outside assistance. If you prefer to make an escape, I can disable their boarding mechanism. However, as long as that tracking device remains on board their ship, 
they will be able to find us again. You know what? I'll go do with them myself. Understood, Captain. I will be deploying the Unreliable's lethal deterrence system. Please approach the airlock and enjoy the show. Oh my god, this is gonna be funny! And the whole crew's here! Such an effective deterrent. I know, right? This is sick. All right, who wants to come with me? Don't, don't, don't get too excited. Shit. All right, I know what I'm gonna do. Let's go in and disable their tracking system. So let's let's go. Wow, this is their ship. What the hell? They're gonna try and attempt to attack us again? Okay. Alright, I guess, uh, this is it. Oh man, of course they would have these animals. Let's go! Let's go! Damn, Felix, that's my boy. Ooh. So, since they were trying to get to us, we're just going to ransack the whole ship because why not? I'll take your milk, your boars, I'll take your water, I'll take that and that. What else can I take? What you got? Thank you. The audacity. I'ma ransack this whole place. So rude. I'll take this. I'ma sell everything. Yep, I'ma take all these drugs and sell it so I can get more money. I'll take that. Yep, I'm stealing everything at this point. Okay. So I assume this is the engine. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take a pocket watch, because uh, I'll even take this. I'm taking everything, so none of these little shitheads can do anything about it. Can I disable this? No, I can't. Alright, let's go. I just love how the music is playing in the background, too. Is there anything for me to steal? I'll take that, I'll take that. Phenomenal. I'll take this. I'll take that. I am literally stealing everything. That is how salty I am right now. Shit, look at this. This is nice. I'll take that. I'll take that. Thank you so much. I'll take... Hello? Okay, there's no one here. Whatever. I'll take that. I'll take that. Let me try, oof. Try this door? No, I can't even get in. Do you, I, I think I went through this, right? Yeah, I did, I did. Man, Alex is a G for installing that defense because if it wasn't for that, who, who knows what these guys could have done to us. I'll take that, I'll take that. What is that? Ooh. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm ransacking all their food and all their stuff. Who cares? I'll take this. I'll take that. Perfect. Ada. Coach. Hmm. I bet there's something... Or some way for me to get through that other door. I just gotta figure out exactly what. Oh, I'll take that. I mean, I already went through here. Nothing? Hold on, I'm going through every single detail just in case if I miss something. Nothing? Huh. Wait, I knew I missed something. Thank you. 
And, uh, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Because at this point, there's nothing that's bare. Ooh. I'll take that. Thank you. Coach Silly's credentials. You know what? Whatever. We could definitely head out, right? Because there's no way for me to get to Coach Silly. Yeah, there's nothing for me to do here, so... Thank you. Yeah. I'm out. Now, it's obvious that the same threatening message that I got earlier was from that group, that team, so... Yeah, yeah, we're good. Oh my god, you stress clean? That's cute. Assholes interrupted my beauty sleep. I am so sorry, hon. I've been on the other side of a boarding dock enough to recognize amateurs. Of course you do, I Ellie. Say that there's been nary a dull moment since signing on with this crew. I'm glad you enjoy it, Car. I thought we were safe in the Aether. Oh, law, I'm gonna have nightmares about this for weeks. Bendito. Poor Pervarty. I am incapable of navigation while the enemy vessel remains attached to the unreliable. You say you could shake them off? Yes, Captain. I am capable of deploying the unreliable's articulated thrusters to dislodge their ship from our own. This is a temporary solution, however. A permanent solution may require your personal intervention. I don't want to deal with this right now. Get rid of the Meta. I understand, Captain. Fly swatting maneuver. Enemy vessel successfully dislodged. Please be mindful of any spaceborne corpses drifting toward our hull. I am now capable of resuming navigation, Captain. Nice. And we are... I tried to disable the tracking device, but I couldn't. Like, there was no way for me to access, you know, the other part of the ship. But anyways, Olympus we go. Pervardi? What's wrong, honey? You okay? Sometimes I can hear Vicar saying prayers to himself. Sometimes I hear him cussing about toss ball scores. You met that auto mechanical clanking around the ship yet? Oh, you mean Sam? Mm -hmm. He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad would say. Have you given him a name yet? Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without him giving you the okay first, you know? You know what? I agree. Felix. Mm -hmm. All right, break time's over. Time for me to head out. Let's go find the other scientist. Whoa, where are we? And already there's a dead body? Oh, man. What happened to these poor folks? It can't be the storm that did this. I don't want to know. But hey, at least there's stuff for me to take, right? I'll take that. I'll take that. Thank you. Uh Get together, Kelly. Oh. Kelly? Kelly, are you okay? Just breathe, Kelly. Everything's gonna be alright. Are you okay, Kelly? Stop making that noise. Ellie, hear you. Who? Who's out there? I'm the captain of my own ship. Open up and I'll get you away from Olympus. I have a very trustworthy face. <laughs> I'll have to come out to assess it myself. Mm. Hold on. I'm opening the door. You know what, Kelly? You sound cute, so... Let me see if you're cute. Hey. Let me just catch my breath. I swear, my heart's trying to punch its way out of my chest. You are cute. It's good. La, I'm so lucky you came along. I know it sounds crazy, but a little while back, I'd been gearing myself up to take a long walk off a short turbine platform. 
Then the security mechanicals broke out into a massacre, and I realized I... Well, I really want to live. How can I help you help me get out of here? So... Why is everyone dead? Pink slip protocol. What? The company decided to terminate the team? Why? How should I know? I just monitor the front desk. Well, except for the last couple of days when I've been hiding out in here. If you work at Oops, you're doing research and development. If we're not researching or developing fast enough, the protocol's there to put the fear in us. Somebody messed up. When one of us makes a mistake, the whole facility pays for it. I know it sounds harsh, but it was in our contracts and everything. Hold on, this place is called Oops? Yep. Olympus Orbital Pharmaceutical Station. Auntie Cleo's naming and branding department's the best in Halcyon. Okay, so... I've got a ship. Need a lift out of here? Do I ever! Drop me off on the groundbreaker and I'll be out of your hair in no time. Okay, so wait, I have questions. What's the purpose of this facility? Why are you making? I'm not making anything. The research team. They were brewing up some improvement to Anticleo's anthracillin. Science stuff isn't really my area, though. So I don't know more than that. Who are you? I'm Kelly Marine, the receptionist. And before you ask, I wasn't manning the visitor's desk when the mechanicals went haywire. Because no one comes here. Not ever. Not since all us station workers were dropped off at the start of the project a year ago. Except for me. Right. Heck of a time for our first and only visitor to show up. Speaking of, why are you here? I'm looking for Dr. Jasper Lowell. If I had to guess, you'd probably find his body either in his office or the labs. Or heck, he could have been on the toilet. I don't know. No bones about it, he was the smartest of us all. Maybe he evaded the Automex, too. Okay, appreciate the tip. Um, anything else you can tell me before I go? Like what? What did you mean about taking a walk off a turbine platform? Just a feeling I got. Every day was the same as every other day. I felt like I was stuck in a circle, you know? Started imagining what it'd be like to break that circle. Station goes in a circle around the planet, so what if I just dropped off the edge? But after what I've seen, after what happened, I don't want that anymore. Okay, so you were so me. suicidal, but after almost getting killed, you have a reason to live, right? Wait here. While I take this and this. Okay, let me stop. So, Jasper, okay, let's climb. There's a good chance this Jasper doctor this could be. Stable, right? Ada checked before we docked. Mm. Captain. Mm. You know, don't really ask me because I don't even have the answer to that question. Ooh. Let's go. Oh, we got a whole bunch. We got a whole bunch here. Let's go. Damn. Oh, man. Get it, Nokia. To shreds, you say? Yeah. Come on, girl. Damn, that robot fell on his ass. Okay. All right, it's dead. It's dead. That's dead. Yo, Pervardi did that swing and that robot. <laughs> that was so funny. That robot got faded. All right, so... So, let me see. Let me hack this machine here. Peekaboo! No, no, that won't do it all. Jasper, you imbecile. Uh, uh, uh. 
Shush. You're talking. Rude. Concentrating. So rude, it. but whatever. I almost had it. Mm -hmm. The formula was in my mind, and I almost uh, had it. Okay. So close to a breakthrough, I could practically taste it. You really did pick the worst time to manifest. So, I appreciate it if you come to your senses. I'm in a hurry. Oh, hang on. I see what's happening. You're real. Ergo, not a hallucination. This is interesting. I have several questions for you. Let's start with the obvious. Who are you, and how are you even alive? Let's skip the introduction. I need access to the chem lab. No, you don't. What do you mean? There's nothing interesting in the chem lab. There's nothing interesting in Gorgon at all. Gorgon is a featureless rock dragged along by the gravitational current of a barren asteroid belt. The chem lab is a graveyard. You won't find anything there but the dead. Right, right. So, I'm looking for Dr. Ambrose's journal. Dr. Olivia Ambrose was one of the finest scientists in the colony. If you're risking your life to retrieve her journal, there's likely a good reason. There if is. If you set your heart on exploring my old labs, I won't try to dissuade you. Indulge me with a favor, and I'll give you the access you want. The electromechanical tool is offline. Without These any favors, power, I can't bro. possibly continue my work. Be a deer and reactivate it for me. That's all I ask. Your colleagues are dead, Jasper. Don't you think it's time to quit? Not that it's any of your business, but I don't get to quit. My colleagues are dead, and yet I live. So I don't get to quit. Take the elevator to the storm platform at the top of this facility. Reactivate the turbine, and I'll give you the access you want. I'll be back. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.